Hello, Taurus. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of March 29th through April 4th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe, hit that like button, and join me daily for my quick glance daily readings. Now keep in mind, these are general readings and will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private reading by clicking the link to my website below. And also be sure to watch your sun, moon, or rising signs, which might resonate with you more and collectively give you more information for this particular week. And I am working with the very colorful, groovy weight tarot card deck for this week's reading. So, Let's get started and see what your cards are indicating for you for this week. First card, Taurus. Seven of Pentacles. Next, Major Arcana card, the Chariot. And Two of Pentacles. Nice energy, Taurus. And your Shaman Oracle card, Direction. For the week is the Garden of Venus. And your crystal for the week, Dioptis. Okay, Taurus. So at first glance here, your cards are indicating that you've been working on a particular project, something that you've been focused on, and it's getting close to reaching the next level, you might say. And your cards are indicating to stay on track, to keep going, as you're going to be very successful. So your first card here is the Seven of Pentacles, Taurus. And this represents something that you're focused on, something that you're working on. Now, for some of you, this can be your job and you might have a project in the workplace. Or this can be a hobby or something that you do on the side. And since it's pentacles, you're getting some revenue from this. Now, the seven of pentacles is only two pentacles away from the harvest, you might say, the nine of pentacles. So right now, the energy of this card is indicating like to step back and review looking at what you've been working on, making sure you're still on the right path and where you want to be going. It's about just checking all the details to whatever this is and making sure everything's how you want it to be. Because after this, I'm picking up that this is really going to take off. So you've got the time now to adjust things, but later on, you might not. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is Taurus's card, so it's very dependable, very patient, persevering, successful. But this card is ruled by the planet Saturn. It has to do with time. So we're talking about timing here, Taurus. Time is of the essence. This is going to be an important factor this week for you. And the number seven energy represents forces that must be dealt with that are beyond your control. So this could possibly be some minor little challenges that you might have to attend to this week. But keep in mind, seven is also the number of the crown chakra, which is your direct connection with the divine. So be sure to meditate daily. Tap into your higher self, give gratitude, and ask for guidance. Now, your next card here is the Major Arcana card, the Chariot. Now, I feel this is what I want to call, and I'm getting the phrase put in front of me, a game changer. Now, the Major Arcana cards usually show up in a reading indicating change and not the day to day things. This is more kind of like a mile marker or a life event. This is a bigger deal, Taurus. This is a card that's actually literally putting you in the driver's seat. You're taking control of the reins of this chariot and you're moving forward. And this 
has a lot to do with your Seven of Pentacles card. And the Chariot card is advising you, stay true to yourself. There's going to be things that are going to try to pull you off course. Now, this could be individuals. This could be circumstances. So you need to just keep moving forward and stay focused on your goal. The Chariot card is indicating momentum, speeding up, self-discipline, your determination. This is all about taking control of your life, Taurus. So make sure you harness all your resources to get you to where you want to go. Now, sometimes the chariot card shows up indicating travel and transportation. So for some of you, there could be something in regards to your car, transportation this week. Might be a minor challenge where you need uh, a car repair. But don't let that interrupt what you're working on here and what you're working towards. This is another number seven energy as your first card where you have to deal with things that are beyond your control. But once again, tap into your higher self and connect with spirit for guidance. Now the chariot card is Cancer's card, very intuitive, devoted. It's associated with your third chakra. That's your navel or solar plexus chakra. And that has to do with your will and determination. And as long as you stay on your true course, you'll be fine, Taurus. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Now, your next card here is the Two of Pentacles. And for you, Taurus, in this case, this is definitely screaming, follow the money. So for some of you, you could have been working on obtaining a promotion, a higher position. Others, you might have been networking, sending out your resumes, trying to obtain a position at another company where you will, where you will earn more money. And the thing that's speaking to me the most on this card is the Lemnus Gate, which is on most of the Two of Pentacles card, but this one is really indicating the true meaning of the Lemnus Gate, which is indestructibility. You can really succeed here, Taurus, with this energy as this is an indication of adapting to changes as they're happening. You'll be multitasking, and I'm feeling you're going to be quite busy, Taurus. Now, the Two of Pentacles is Capricorn's card, so like this card, Taurus's card, the Seven of Pentacles, this is also a very determined, dependable, practical energy, very ambitious and persevering. Now, this one, is ruled by the planet Jupiter, which is associated with good luck and happiness, good health, good fortune. So this is an important card in your reading this week, Taurus, as this can point you in the direction of huge success. And the number two energy of this card is bringing something together. Two things are coming together, kind of like a, a union. It's bringing about this change. So very exciting card and energy for you this week. Now, your numerology here for your tarot cards is number 16, which reduces down to seven. And you have this number seven energy running throughout your reading, dealing with things that are beyond your control. But it's not all bad things. It's good things as well, because success can come in and it can be an energy beyond your control. Tremendous success where you're just thrilled at what has happened. And you might have put hard work in, but it's still up to fate whether you're going to fail or succeed. So this number seven energy is even in your numerology for this week. But that also has to do with your crown chakra again and your connection with spirit. So definitely. Meditating daily is going to help you out a great deal to receive guidance and direction from spirit. Now, your oracle card for the week is from the new Shaman's Dream Oracle deck, and you received Garden of Venus. And it indicates on the card here, take note, Taurus, right here, rest and renewal. Take note of that. 
because you do want to rest up before this energy of the Two of Pentacles hits as you're going to be busy, Taurus. Now, the Garden of Venus here is a place of all is well. And it's showing up almost ahead of time before you get so busy with your project. So this card's indicating a time to rest and just re renew, recharge your battery, excuse me, batteries, to just kind of leave all your thoughts and worries, not that you have any, but, you know, your thoughts of work, leave it all behind for the moment. Now, the special thing and message with this card is that it indicates in this Garden of Venus, there is a very still pond that shows you your reflection. And as you look at your reflection, Taurus, at this time, look at who you've become. Just love who you've turned into. So the same as your Seven of Pentacles card was telling you to stand back and reassess the work that you've been doing. Well, the Garden of Venus card is telling you to rest, recharge your batteries, and take a look at you, Taurus, and what you've accomplished, how you've changed, what you've turned into. Definitely, this can be the calm before the storm. And using the word storm is not the right word, but this is the calm before you do reach that next level of success. Now, your angels and guides have chosen the Dioptis crystal, which helps you out with direction, Taurus. Meditating with the Dioptis crystal can help you decide which direction you should take. And this is going to help you with your chariot card energy to stay on course. The energy of this crystal will help you to become clear about what you want to achieve. And for those Taurus individuals who truly already know what direction they want to go in, this is a sign that you're on the right path. And just stay true to what you want. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't let them pull you off course. Just remain positive, strong, and driven. And then more abundance and opportunities will surely come your way. And also, trust in the universe. As you're following your dreams and just release your need for any kind of control. Now, Dioptis is associated with your heart chakra. So the direction you're going in will be the direction of your heart's desire. So in summary here, this week, Taurus, you're starting off with the Seven of Pentacles, which is an indication that you've been focused on something in particular for quite some time. This could be a job. This could be a hobby. This could be something that you're doing for a second income. And it's pretty close to completion or how I should say the harvest. The Major Arcana card, the Chariot, is an indication that you're taking control of your destiny and you're taking the reins, staying on course in regards to your Seven of Pentacles card. This is something that's going to probably mark some kind of milestone and most likely a very successful one. So do not let anyone or anything pull you off course because this is what you were destined to do, Taurus. And your two of Pentacles card here is screaming, follow the money, Taurus. So if this is in regards to a job, maybe you're wanting to apply for a position or a promotion, go after it. Or this maybe is getting another job at a different company, go after it. Now, Taurus, some of you might have to move house in order to take advantage of it but go with the flow. Now, the Two of Pentacles can also be in regards to your Seven of Pentacles, what you've been working on, and to just stay on course and keep following the money. Keep doing what it is that you enjoy. And the Lemniscate here on the card 
is almost giving off an energy of like indestructibility. In other words, no one is able to stop you. That's the kind of success that is the potential here with this card. You're able to juggle a lot of things all at once. And this card's indicating you're really going to be busy. And your shaman's card, Garden of Venus, is telling you to take a moment, get some rest, recharge your batteries. Stop and look at what you've created and what's coming to fruition. What you, Taurus, have become. And your angels and guides are suggesting to meditate with the Dioptis crystal to give you direction as to what it is you love to do. Stay on course. Don't listen to others. Stay true to yourself, Taurus. And you're really going to reap the harvest from your Seven of Pentacles energy, bringing you down to your Two of Pentacles, which is certainly indicating to follow the money. So very exciting energy here, Taurus. The main thing is to get some rest, meditate with the Dioptis Crystal, and just keep going on the path that you're on. Just be unstoppable, Taurus. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe and help support my channel if you haven't already. And for private readings with me, click on my website link below. Love and abundance for my Taurus family.